CBS presents this program in color. Hi, I'm Tony Maeta, and I am here with one of the busiest actors in Hollywood today, Mr. Barry Livingston. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Talk yeah. about some of your memories of uh, being on the Desilu lot, but also you have the distinction of being one of the three sons of Theodore J. Mooney, the first one. Oh, really? In fact, <laughs> you are Arnold Mooney. Hi, Arnold. Come on, I want you to meet my mother. Mom, Arnold is the new boy in our class. Well, hi, Arnold. Jerry will be right with you as soon as I cut his hair. Come on. Arnold, would you like to take my place? <laughs> well, <laughs> now uh, you would be something of a challenge at that. Did you have any concept of you know, who Lucille Ball was or what it was like to be on the set of The Lucy Show? Yeah, I mean, I was a huge fan of I Love Lucy, but I was under contract and working on My Three Sons, which is when I did The Lucy Show. I was, I was under contract playing Ernie Thompson, not Ernie Douglas. I was mm -hmm. the friend next door, Chip's friend. Mm -hmm. You know, I was... A, flabbergasted that we were working on the same lot that Lucy, you know, even before I did the Lucy show, she had a golf cart. And I knew where her offices were, you know, and I was always riding my bike and things around, you know, between, between scenes, working on Sons. And she had this, always had a bandana, you know, around her neck and a cigarette and, and she'd be like on this golf cart, you know, and she, she always kind of had her eye on me, you know, and I'm sure she maybe knew me as an actor. And, and it would always be like, hi, Barry. Mm, and she gets like with him and was like, oh, she, I, I she, she knew was, my name. I hear she was quite a driver. She was hell on wheels. Oh, like, God, you get out of her way, you know. I mean, it was, <laughs> I, I realized it was like an ambulance. You, you pulled over on your bike, you know. It's your coming. You just don't want to get hit. Would you like to have me cut your hair, Arnold? Do you give lollipops? Well, do you wiggle? No. I give lollipops. <laughs> in uh, one of the season two episodes, Lucy gets locked in the vault where she gives you a interesting haircut. I do recall the haircut one, mm -hmm. you know, very vividly because, uh, you know, I don't think I'm giving anything away. I didn't have a head of hair quite that fabulous and of course I don't at all anymore. But, um, but it, you know, we had to put a wig on and uh, mainly because it was, it, they were afraid we might not get it on the first take. It might take two or three so they had to have multiple wigs that, that she could do the, you know, do the, the shave and give me the mohawk. And I remember her standing really in front of me so that when she stepped aside and saw, saw this, this huge mohawk, it was very effective. The audience, the audience went crazy. So hanging out on the Desi Lou lot with, with Jimmy Garrett and Ralph Hart, what, what did a 10-year-old do? What did, you, what, did you, what did you do? I mean, because you weren't working all the time. I mean, there was school, but there had to be some recreation. I can't on. tell you what we did. It's, it's top <laughs> secret. You know, we, we actually, uh, you know, we'd band together. Occasionally you were both, you know, you weren't working. So, yeah. you, you know, you're bored silly half the time. You know, nine-tenths of the day is just sitting around waiting to go do a scene. The one cool thing on Desi Lou is our dressing rooms were in this funky old warehouse where they kept the, the original miniature uh, skyline of, of, of New York City from King Kong, which those were that was, you know, incredible. That was the holy grail of movies as a kid was the original King Kong. So, you know, we could go in there and play around like, you know, Empire State Building, this, this tall. So, you know, we had our Stingray bikes. We'd rip around a lot, you know, and, you know, we had skateboards and we, we would sneak over. There was a fence that separated uh, Paramount Studios from Desi Lu. When Paramount bought Desi Lu, they just took down the fence and it's, it's all Paramount now. But uh, there, was a, there was a little hole that we found in the, the, the chain link fence or maybe some grip or somebody <laughs> said the commissary is better over there and drilled a hole in it. It was like the, it was like the, you know, the Berlin Wall. And you get into this fabulous back lot that Paramount had. Bonanza actually, I think, used their Western Street. They had a you know, huge, huge water tank that they'd fill occasionally and you know, float a boat in it or a pirate ship or a, you know, whatever. You know, as a kid, that was a yeah. real playground. Well, absolutely, a total playground. Yeah. Right. You've been working since how old were you when you first well, started Well, the first working? thing I did was a film called Rally Brown the Flag Boys, mm -hmm. and I was uh, five years old. And in fact, my brother Stan, who played Chip on My Three Sons, was also hired. We were playing the kids of Paul, Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward in this film. 
very ostentatious beginning. It was a quite. Yeah. It was an ostent. It was very large beginning, yes. and I got fired from that. Oh, because <laughs> my eyes. I wasn't wearing glasses at the time, mm -hmm. and and literally on the set while we were working, my eyes started cross, and and everyone got very concerned and worried, and literally they took me from the set to a hospital, and said, no, 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 you know, it's maybe the stress. He's got astigmatism, and he needs glasses now. So the producers uh, said, well, you know, we hired him, and we didn't see Paul Newman's kid, you know, being this goofy, nerdy. Ner nerdy wasn't even a term there. But they said they didn't want him wearing glasses. He shouldn't be wearing glasses, so we're going to have to let him go. Well, you really made those glasses work for you, though, didn't you? Uh, I mean, they were part of your, your persona later on in My Three Sons. It, I mean, it became was became sort of my signature thing in that era, that they were the, the, the prototype kid child actor of that was more like my brother Stan, who was blonde-haired, blue-eyed, you know, perfect little kid. And I had like a Chinese bowl cut, you know, his big, big glasses, buck teeth. <laughs> I was uh, a prototype nerd. Do you remember how you came to get the role on my, you know, your brother was on My Three Sons. Yeah, I was working on another show, a series called The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. Mm -hmm. And Stan was actually on that show prior to My Three Sons. When he got hired on My Three Sons, the Nelson family, uh, decided to just put me into his slot as, as the boy next door, the kid that Ozzy would take to the malt shop. So I was working, you know, and, I, and then I was on the set a lot with my brother on My Three Sons, so they were, you know, they knew that I was around, and I had just done a couple, couple of big films at Paramount. My Three Sons shot right next to the Lucy show. Yes. And weren't your, weren't your, sets, your sets right next to each other? Sound, sound stages, stages right next you know, to each other. We, we, there was a common little cave you'd walk into, mm -hmm. and you'd go to the right, to Lucy, to the left, to that door, you'd go on to stage 11 where, where we shot.